What is going up YouTube? Welcome to another video on stoves. In this particular video, it's gonna cover any types of stove, whether it be wood burning, whether it uses pellets or gravity fed oil. Um, if you have smoke coming into your house, this is the video for you. You'll wanna watch it till the end. We're gonna go over five scenarios on why you can have this and hopefully you'll be able to fix it. So if you find this video valuable, please like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell sign. That way you get notified when I put out more videos. So let's jump right into it. So what is the difference between draft and negative pressure? We're gonna start with draft. This is a natural phenomenon when your stove is running. So the hot air uh, exits the back of the stove or the top of the stove. And it's a natural effect because heat uh, rises naturally, right? So it brings in all the combustion elements with it outside up the chimney and then outside of the house. Uh, when the stove is warmer or hotter, you get bigger draft effect, right? So it's gonna pull more uh, towards the chimney or through the chimney. There's also something called the tunnel effect, which creates, uh, which contributes to an increased draft effect. So this also happens in subway systems where when, once the subway enters the tunnel, it'll push that volume of air in front of it and create that tunnel effect. Same thing with stoves. So this is why some chimneys are excessively long because it creates that tunnel effect which creates a bigger draft. So if your chimney is shorter, it'll have a shorter draft. So negative pressure can be seen as a negative draft, which means the air is flowing from the top of your chimney down into your stove and then into your house. So naturally that brings smoke along with it, causing smoke in your house, cabin or ice shack. So we're gonna start off with our first diagram here. So it shows a stove functioning under normal and adequate conditions. The heat rises to the upper floors and the room where the stove is located has an adequate supply of oxygen. The chimney draft is sufficient and the combustion gases are evacuated normally through the exhaust system. So you can see those red arrows, they flow nicely from the stove up out of the chimney, right? Hot air rises into the house, which heats up your environment. So in our second scenario, uh, you can see the effect of a cold chimney. So before you start your, your stove. So cold air creates a reverse draft again, which is what we call negative pressure, which causes smoking problems. This phenomenon is amplified by the fact that heat rises, which creates a draft from the basement of the house to the upper floors, also known as the chimney stack effect. Our third scenario shows the effect of negative pressure caused by an air moving device inside the house. So in the example here, we see the range hood, which is actually drawing air from the inside of the house, which is replaced by the air coming from the chimney. The result is a smoking problem. So you're getting a pull from that range hood, which is kind of sucking the air. Our fourth scenario shows the negative pressure effect caused by wind which is influenced by a nearby structure, such as this building here. So make sure when you run your stove, uh, if it's a windy day and sometimes you're not sure why smoke is entering uh, the room, this could be a major factor. Some stoves are equipped with uh, kind of like deflecting devices at the top of the chimney, which, which tend to reduce this uh, wind effect. So in our fifth scenario, it's similar to the, to the previous one. It's the negative pressure effect that can be caused by wind influenced by nearby structures such as a tree. So if you have your stove or your house or cabin located in a forest, chances are if it's windy, this could be a major cause. So see where the wind is going and if it's rolling over a tree and into the chimney, add one of those deflectors or uh, make sure your stove gets hot enough. That way it counteracts the wind coming into the stove. So another reason why smoke can enter the room or your house is because of the door gasket. So every stove should have uh, some kind of fire resistant gasket around the door. So when you lock it, it's sealed and smoke doesn't come out. So when do I need to replace my door gasket? The gasket is there to ensure that the stove remains airtight, which is necessary for your stove to function properly. How frequently you replace the gasket really depends on how often you fire your stove. When the gasket becomes really hard and you notice a gap between the door and the stove, well, it's time to replace it. If you fire on your stove on a regular basis, let's say all winter, you may need to replace the gasket before every heating season. 
I strongly suggest that you use a genuine gasket supplied by the manufacturer just to make sure it fits and everything works uh, properly. You want to avoid using liquid glue and low density gasket with large and flabby knits. A quick way to verify this is if you run your stove and you turn off the lights and you see light coming through the gasket, well, you know there's a gap and you have to replace it. A little bonus tip here, uh, some of these stoves, they have a stainless steel deflector. Some people think this is uh, for visual purposes to reflect the, uh, I guess, the flame and make it look bigger. Actually, it's to deflect the heat. Uh, it is normal that these tarnish. Stainless steel, once it gets extremely hot, it tends to tarnish. So that is one, I guess, inconvenience of stainless steel and it is normal. So I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, put a comment below. If it didn't, let me know what you want to see and I'll make a video on that. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell and see you on the next video.